Hi viewers, I'm Jenna Rivera and this vlog is about the history of my beloved school, the City College of Calapan, which offers quality, affordable, and accessible education that hones its students to become disciplined, literate, and professionally competent. The City College of Calapan took more than five years, three leaders, and a deep commitment to be established. In 2003, Mayor Arnan C. Panaligan had a conception of building an LGU-managed tertiary education that leads him to visit the city of Tagaytay to study how the city put up their own city college. But, unfortunately, the project was put into a stop due to his assumption. Luckily, in 2005, the city mayor, Carlos Brocal, continued the stalled project and formed a technical working group consists of personnel from different departments. The three different departments are A. The Urban Planning and Development Department that is a sign of planning, designing, and management of the area. B. The City Education Department. C. The City Accounting and Internal Audit Department, which provides accounting services and financial services to the local government unit. And study tours in the City College of Tagaytay in Pamantasa ng Lungsod ng Maynila were conducted. The Technical Working Group coordinated with the Commission on Higher Education, MIMAROPA, regarding institutionalization of a city college. Honorable Victor Ulayan Jr. was a partner in said initiatives to consider the legislative side of the project in depth analysis with regard to its financial feasibility, its mode of oper operation, legal basis, and other aspects. After a public hearing was held in coordination with the Sangguniang Panlungsod, the group eventually submitted a report and draft ordinance to former city mayor Brocal. With the advance of the 2007 election, the project got halted again. Mayor Doy Siliachon advised former city education officer Ma'am Marilyn E. Manigbas, former urban planning and development coordinator Darwinio Villarosa, with Dr. Rene M. Colocar, to work on the project in order to meet the prescribed timetable of its implementation. Former City Administrator Jojo Esperes is the one who organized and headed a committee on the establishment of the City College. Other set of officials was sought to help, headed by the former Vice Mayor Rafael Infantado, Councilor Joji Malapitan, Chairman of the Committee on Education of Sangguniang Panlungsod and City Trade and Industry, Joey Benter. Another tour was done at Urdaneta in Pangasinan to observe how their city college becomes successful in its operation. Mrs. Manigbas administered a random sampling survey among young Calapenos in order to know what courses they would want the City College to offer. Led by former Vice Mayor Infantado, City Ordinance No. 14 was unanimously passed and approved on March 12, 2008, which finally paved the way for the operation of the City College. The ordinance amended that the City Government will no longer send scholars to other schools. School year 2008-2009, set of scholars became the initial batch of enrollees in the City College of Calapan. There were 124 enrollees during the first semester and general education subjects were offered. Before the opening of the second semester, the Board of Trustees decided on the courses they would offer based on the result of the survey and felt need of the community. These are the following courses they offered. A. Bachelor of Elementary Education with Specialization in Special Education. B. Bachelor of Science in Information System. C. Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management. D. 
Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management. In 2011, three new programs were offered. A. Bachelor in Library and Information Science. B. Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Mathematics, major in Physical Science. The college was awarded with the VET certification from TESDA in 2011 to eligibly offer housekeeping NC2 course. The first 21 graduates of PE Ed major in special education gave pride after being recognized with 100% passing percentage in the licensure examination for teachers last September 30, 2012. The high passing rate of education remains at present. That's all. I hope this blog persuades you to study in this school. Goodbye and thank you for watching.